Hello, my name is Elise Davenport and I just finished my sophomore year as a nursing major. It was definitely a challenging year and one of the biggest struggles that I had to overcome this year was difficulty with taking nursing exams. As any nursing major would tell you, exams are the hardest and most important part of nursing school. So this video is my study plan that I developed throughout the semester as I had to use trial and error to figure out what worked best for me. So looking back on the way that I studied this past semester, I've pretty much broken down the process into three main phases. So phase one begins weeks before the exam day. It's all about being prepared in advance and making sure that you actually learn the material thoroughly while it's being taught so you don't have to go back and relearn everything when you're studying for the exam. So there's three main points in phase one. Um, first, you want to make sure that you read the textbook or any material before class so that you have it fresh in your mind and the lecture is just reinforcing the information that you're already familiarized with. Um, you want to make sure that you're not just skimming, but you actually read and retain the information however you do that best. Um, next, you want to make sure that you listen in lecture. Sometimes professors say things that aren't in the textbook or on the PowerPoint, and you want to take notes and remember that information in case they decide to sneak it into the exam. Last, you need to review what you learned within 24 hours in order to really retain it. This helps it to stick better in your mind and helps you remember it um, for the long term. So phase two begins one week before the exam day. The first step of phase two is to make a list of all the topics that you need to know for the exam. So sometimes teachers will give a blueprint or a topic list that'll help guide you when you're studying. Writing it all down in a list will help you to know if you've covered everything that you need to know and you can cross off the topics as you cover them. Next, make an outline of all the information that you need to know. The purpose of this is just to compile all the material you've learned into one place and review it in the process. Um, so when I'm making an outline, I like to gather information from all the resources that we've used, like the textbooks, the PowerPoints, and any class notes. Once all the information is in one place, it's easier to study because you're focusing on just one resource. And last, make sure that you're really studying the material and taking your time when you're making this outline because this counts as studying too and it helps the information to stick if you study it as you go. Phase three begins one or two days before the exam day. So this phase is all about just reviewing the information and since you already have all the material gathered, um, this should just be a review and reinforcement of that information. So first, it's really important to know your best learning style so that you can study the material um, accurately and in the most helpful way. So if you're a visual learner, then maybe drawing diagrams or rewriting can help. If you're an auditory learner, maybe talking it out or teaching it to a friend. If you're a kin kinesthetic learner, then maybe going to the lab and practicing certain skills or walking around while you study can be helpful. Um, it can also really help to have a friend or a classmate you can study the material with the night before the exam. So studying with other people works best when you both have independently studied the material beforehand and you just need to bounce it off of each other, quiz each other, fill in any gaps, or ask questions. Um, so the very last thing to do before the exam is to do practice questions. This helps get your mind ready to take the test and use test taking strategies. Um, I like to use practice problems from the end of chapters in my textbook or from test success books that are specifically designed for nursing classes and exams. I also just wanted to comment on a couple of things that I think are important to keep in mind during the studying process and as you learn to study. Um, so first, everyone studies and learns differently, so it's best not to compare your studying style or the amount of time that it takes you to study to other people, other people in your classes. Um, also, some people are just better at test taking than others, which means that maybe if you're not as good, then you'll have to study harder or work more to get passing grades, but that's still okay. You shouldn't 
compare yourself to other people. Um, and lastly, the most important thing through all of this is to just stay determined and not get discouraged. Um, taking nursing exams is really hard and takes a lot of practice to get the hang of it, but it is possible and the key is just to not give up no matter how hard it might get. So that concludes my video about test taking strategies. Um, in no way is this a perfect method. I'm still learning how to take exams best, um, but this is just what I've learned throughout this semester and what has worked best for me um, throughout this process. Thanks for watching.